Welcome to GTA Gamer. To remove mods in GTA 5, first go to the location where your GTA 5 game is installed. Start by renaming the mods folder to any other name. I'm renaming my mods folder to something like Disable Mods. Now create a backup folder. You will be moving your mods into this folder. Start by moving both dinput8.dll and script hook 5dll into your backup folder. These two DLL files are the basic files for loading most of your mods. If you are using script hook 5.net, then you need to move the files that are now shown on the screen. Rename the scripts folder to disable scripts. This folder will contain the scripts that are loaded by script hook 5.net. Next you need to move the .asi files that you have installed. These include your trainers, mod menus, limit adjusters and other plugins. Some of these mods come with configuration files like .xml and .ini files. You need to move them too. You can leave the log files in your game folder. But in case you want your GTA folder to be clean, then you can move them too. Check your game folder, if you can recognize any other mod files that you have installed, and move them into the backups folder. Lastly, if you have OpenIV installed on your computer, launch the application. Go to the ASI manager and uninstall the plugins. But you can see that all the plugins are already uninstalled. This is because you have moved the plugins into the backups folder. That's it. You have removed all the mods in your GTA 5 folder. In case you want to verify the files, I have also linked two images in the description that will show you how a fresh copy of the GTA 5 folder would look like. You can now launch the game. But if you get any error like corrupt game data, you can fix that easily. This is caused due to the removal of ASI Loader Plugin and OpenIV.ASI. You can reinstall them and solve this issue. But the whole point of this video is not to use mods. So to fix this error, right-click on the desktop shortcut of GTA 5 and select Properties. In the Target field, add a space at the end and write hyphen verify. Click on OK to close the properties. Now launch the game. The game will verify all the files and will start working. You now have a fresh copy of GTA 5 installed on your computer, without any mods. Don't forget to subscribe to GTA Gamer. See you in the next video.